How are you viewers? Today we've come to the end of section B of the November 2019 Science Paper 1 revision. The question reads, the symbol represents a nucleus of uranium with nuclear number 238 and proton number 92. The symbol represents a nucleus of uranium with nuclear number 238 and proton number 92. A. State the meaning of nucleon number. State the meaning of nucleon number. Here, basically, what we're talking about is we're talking about the nucleus. So a nucleon is a particle that is found in the nucleus. So if we talk about nucleon number, we are basically talking about the total number of particles found in the nucleus. And according to uh, our knowledge of the atom, in the nucleus we only find two particles, and these are protons and neutrons. Therefore, the nucleon number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the atom. So the nucleon number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the atom. B. A nucleus of uranium-238 decays to form a nucleus of thorium by the emission of an alpha particle. A nucleus of uranium-238 decays to form a nucleus of thorium by the emission of an alpha particle. State the proton number of an alpha particle. Two, the nucleon number of an alpha particle. Three, the proton number of thorium. Four, the nucleon number of thorium isotope. So the first two questions are paired. And the last two are also paired. The first two are talking about an alpha particle, while the last two are talking about the thorium atom or isotope. So what we're going to do first is actually state the nature of an alpha particle. We know that an alpha particle is the nucleus of a helium atom. So because it is the nucleus of a helium atom, we expect it to have a proton number of 2 and a nucleon number of 4. This is according to the nucleide of helium. Therefore, we are going to say that the proton number of an alpha particle is 2, while the nucleon number is 4. Then we proceed to the last two set of questions. The last two set of questions uh, are talking about thorium. Now, this thorium that we're talking about is coming from uranium. So it means that we need to write somewhere the decay equation for uranium to thorium. So we are going to have our uranium-238 decaying by the emission of an alpha particle. So what is produced is called the delta. So uranium, uh, thorium is the delta element. And what thorium is going to have is that we are going to subtract from the nuclear number of uranium, we are going to subtract four, which actually is the nuclear number for alpha. So what we remain with is going to have 234 instead of 238. And when we talk about the proton number of uranium, it is going to lose two protons. Therefore, the daughter that is going to be formed will be 92 minus 2, which is 90. So we expect it to look something like this. So the daughter is going to have a nuclear number of 238 and a proton number of 90. Then to this, we are going to complete the equation by adding the alpha particle itself. So there is the alpha particle. 
Now, if we add the nuclear number of the alpha particle and that of the daughter, we should be able to get the nuclear number of the parent, which is the uranium. Same for the proton number. If we add the proton number of the uh, alpha particle and that of the daughter, we should get back to the proton number of the parent. Therefore, here we are going to say that the nuclear number, or rather the proton number of thorium, is 90, and the nuclear number is 234. So this is how we were supposed to answer the question B9. We come to the end of our revision of question B9 of the November 2019 paper and this marks the end of the revision of section B. If you are enjoying these videos please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel for you to get notifications each time we post a question. Thank you very much.